I become completely obsessed with artificial intelligence, ChatGPT, Descript, Pictory, Topaz. It's just become crazy what you can do with artificial intelligence. And so I decided to have a conversation with ChatGPT about artificial intelligence and the future of artificial intelligence. I'm David, and this is AI. <laughs> Okay, can we have a conversation about artificial intelligence and about ChatGPT, please? Certainly. ChatGPT is a product of the OpenAI's GPT, Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, series of models. As of my last update in 2021, I'm based on the GPT-4 architecture. Here's a brief overview, and then we can dive deeper into any aspect you like. What is GPT? GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It's a type of language model that's trained on vast amounts of text data and can generate coherent and contextually relevant text over extended passages. Transformer Architecture The Transformer is the underlying neural network architecture that powers GPT. Introduced in a 2017 paper by Viswani et al., the transformer utilizes attention mechanisms to weigh the importance of different parts of the input data, allowing it to handle long-term dependencies and relationships in data effectively. Training and fine-tuning. The pre-trained part of GPT's name refers to the initial phase where the model is trained on massive amounts of text to predict the next word in a sequence. After this broad training, it can be fine-tuned on specific datasets to optimize performance for particular tasks such as question answering or translation. Capabilities GPT models can generate human-like text, answer questions, write essays, create poetry, and more. They've been used in a variety of applications. From chatbots to content creation tools. Limitations GPT models don't understand information like humans do. They generate responses based on patterns they've seen in data. This means they can sometimes produce incorrect or nonsensical answers. They can be sensitive to input phrasing and may give different answers based on slight rephrasing. They don't have the capability to learn from one-off conversations. They can't remember previous interactions or have a continuous conversation spanning multiple sessions. Ethical and societal implications. The power of GPT and similar models has raised questions about misinformation, since the models can generate fake news or false statements. Job displacement in fields like content creation. And the potential for reinforcing biases present in the training data. Where would you like to dive deeper or is there a specific question or aspect you'd like to discuss?